Click the Office button which contains all the commands once listed under the File menu in previous versions. Select Save As and mouse over the right arrow to expand our options. The Save a Copy of the Document Options list appears. The Save As function is designed to help us store our file in the correct place and correct file format. The list allows us to select a specific format for our file, such as the previous version of PowerPoint. This is important if we are sharing our presentation with others who do not have PowerPoint 2007. Click PowerPoint Presentation. In this dialog box, we can specify the name for the file in our File Name field. For now, click Cancel to close the dialog box, and let's open up the dialog box a different way. Click the Microsoft Office button again, and click the Save icon from the pull-down menu. Normally, this action would simply save the file. However, since we have not saved the file yet, the Save As dialog box comes up again. Suzanne, we want to save this file in the Documents folder, but before we do, let's check out some of our other options. Before saving, always look at the Save As Type box directly below the File Name box. Click the drop-down box. This opens the same list of alternative file formats that we just saw, giving us another chance to change it. For the most part, we'll always be saving our files in standard PowerPoint presentations, which is our default. Click outside the box to close it. Click to the right of the Authors field to open the Add an Author option. This field will identify us as the author of this document. This is especially important if we plan to collaborate or share our document with others. Suzanne, enter your name. Viewers, fill in your own name. Press the Tab key. We can add a tag to our document to help in identifying this document. Enter Video Professor Lesson. Suzanne, we're going to save this file to the Documents folder. Click Browse Folders.